All right, so today I'm going to talk a bit about swapping over to arcade stick from a different controller. So before this, I'm a keyboard user. It's a long time, you know, I've been doing keyboard stuff for like more than a year since Tekken 7. Do stuff like this very well. Right, so I came from keyboard and then switch over to arcade stick. The reason why is because you know I got this as a gift from a friend, and I've always wanted to try an arcade stick. And you know, it, my friend was like, you know, I'm not really playing Tekken anymore. I want to make up some storage space, so you know, wanna wanna give it to me, right? So, and this is, this is it. Got a Mayflash F300, very entry level arcade stick. Uh, it's pretty good so far. I made uh, one adjustment to it. I switched to a to a bat top, so the old ball top it used to have. Yeah, which is this one. Uh, I found it a bit more comfortable to use a bat top than a ball one. You know, uh, I bought this because this I want to try everything, right? This one was cheap. I got this for really cheap. So I just got it, anyways. It, they didn't come in blue, so I just opt for black instead. And uh, yeah, uh, of course, I tried it with a ball top before. And it's just like, it's very short, right? It's very short down. It's like I can't even use my two fingers up here. So I'm basically like playing it with the... Mainly with these two fingers and like half of my middle finger uh, my top finger is just like on top of it and it's just not the the most comfy to me but now with the with a bat top it feels a lot more natural especially for attacking and uh, yeah uh, I'm doing some movement stuff here and you'd be like, wow, you'd be able to do that in a month? What did you do? Right? And let's get into that. So, the way I learned how to start moving efficiently on the arcade stick is to, well, the main thing is to just keep using it and keep playing it. You know, this entire month, this entire past month, uh, I have not like missed a day with the arcade stick. Like, every day I just hold it, I put it in my lab and just hold it, you know, just do Tekken movement. Do Korean bag dashes, you know, on both sides. Right, and do wave dashes, wait. Play Kazuya here. I just do like these movements. And uh, yeah, I haven't missed a day for the past 30 days. Which is how I got to be moving like this. Uh, today, you know, I can insert like, a clip of me like trying, trying to move. Uh, like the first few days, I have this thing. All right, so this is my third day on stick, and I'm gonna do some back dash and uh, some wave dash to to to, sh to show progress. This is my P1 backdash. 
not too fast and then still get like missing puts. <coughs> this is P1 Weibo, it's not fat. Yeah, this is my P2 backdash. And wave, wave dash. Yeah. And yeah, you, you can see there, it's like I'm not really moving as efficiently. But then again, this is still, again, this is also, I'm doing this in practice mode. Which is, you know, like, there's no. No threat, no nothing, right? Just free of stress. And I'm still like ha having miss inputs doing them. But yeah, the main thing when when you first start is to just know how to hold your stick. That's like the most important part, like the best grip I think that everyone uses like the open the open grip this is just put your 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 hand on the to the left side of the stick and then just let it ho hover like this if you want to do a like a, a movement to the right you just push your entire hand if you want to do a movement to the left you just do just put your your thumb and and your your fingers at the top, right? Do it. And yeah. Uh, I started with the the most basic, just going forward, backward, left and right. I just try and just get used to moving and like feeling the arcade stick. Of like uh, for like the direction that I wanna activate. For example if I wanna activate like the If I want to activate going forward here, you know, I just push forward with this uh, with this open hand style. I just do this for like a minute. Let's do this back to neutral. Just do this right, and then as well as back dash, just to get used to that directional feeling. So that when you hit back, you know this is the motion that your hand has to do to hit back. And then when I got used to it in like the first few hours, I started doing back dash into sidestep like this. And then like, I quickly understand like how my hands should move when I want to do these inputs. Like it's really, it's way more difficult now compared to like doing with keyboard which is just, you know, just tap one button and then immediately tap the other button really fast, right? Like, like, this is so fast. It's so fast. Like, it, it's kind of broken. And then... After I got used to just doing this, which is take a bit, it took me a whole day. It took me two days to really get used to how weird this feels. Especially going up and back on the player one side because you have to use your thumb. It's entirely your thumb doing the, the movement because going up 
because my hands are quite big, I can't really use my, my palm here like this, which I see some people do, to go like up. So I have to like grip it with my fingers and like flick it. But then I found it like it's kind of hard to do that. So then I realized with how tall my hand is, I can just flick this stick like this with my thumb to get an up movement and then immediately go back again. And again, yeah, this is very stra uh, straining on the on the thumb. That's why, like, in, you, like, you see a lot of stick users don't do it that much either. They don't sidestep to the to the background a lot either because of just how weird this movement is. Right. And so, after I learned just doing this, like a whole day, the next day I start going Korean backdash. So it took me a bit to it took me a bit to this took me like a few days. I think a whole the first week to just really adjust to to the stick like and be able to do this. Very clean like this. And a lot of YouTube videos I watch like watch Mean Man's Korean Backdash Guide, I watch FidiX Korean Backdash Guide. I even watch the Korean players like Olsun and Lohai's uh, video to, to just look at how they do it and really understand what's going on with a stick. But then when it comes to actually practicing it it goes to s it, it, it's very important that you start slow first. This is what I did. It's like you want to get the feeling of the movement of the stick right into your hand if that makes sense. Like if you start slow You, you slowly get to understand what is happening. For example, when I first started, I just, I just, I just went like, oh, I can't even do it now. I can't even like mess up now, I got it like so well done, but... But like... The way it goes, basically, like, I, I release it wrong. That I didn't get the free back input. Like this. Maybe if I do it on P2, it's a lot more clear. Yeah, like, for example... I got, oh man, I can't even do it, like, I, I got so, so used to just doing it, a proper back dash. Maybe I just have to do it really fast. But yeah, okay, you see that bit where I just don't, don't even get, like, the, the back, the back input. So then I get stuff like this. There you go. Right, you get stuff like that when you, when you first started. Of course, that's very normal to just for it to happen. So you just start slow, really feel the, the stick, and also the best advice I can give is listen to the to the sound that your stick makes. Like when you, when you push, it, it doesn't click, right? And then we push down, there's another click. Right, really listen to this clicks 
to really get a gauge on like whether you press the uh, the the direction or not. And it's so satisfying to listen to as well. I mean, do it right. P1 here, base. Yeah, my P1 bag that's just really clean because I've been practicing a lot more P1. Because I generally just want to get get it out of the way, right? So my P1 is a lot better than my P1. But more importantly is. After I've done all that, I start going into combos. So I remember the very first thing I did is to just because I play Brian, I need my quarter circle to be perfect, right? So I just did this, did this basically for like ten minutes, and then after that, like I. I challenge myself and say, you know, do it do it like ten times in a row. And if you get a missing play you gotta reset. So I did this. And then okay, that that's a miss there, that's a reset, right? And I still get like missing play today. So like five. Four, five, right, and then take a break. Do like a simple combo to like celebrate, and then oh yeah, I did this too. Course go forward and course go back, just to get my input clean. So I just practice this just like that. The drill is to just repeat it ten times. A try and repeat it ten times. And then take a break. And that's what I did like the past thirty days basically. That is all that I do. And now like my movement and my Execution is close to like 80% of what I can do on keyboard. Maybe 75. Can I show off? Here? Yep. Something like that. Pretty cool. Yeah. That's something I noticed too when I switched to arcade stick. Doing pawns at upper is a lot easier for me compared to doing the keyboard. The reason being. The reason being is what you notice here when you do forward and back. I am guaranteed to get a neutral input. What's weird is maybe because it's, you know, my keyboard. Maybe if I do it on hitbox, this wouldn't be a problem. But if I try and do forward back very quickly on keyboard. I can actually skip neutral, which is a big problem if you want to do a jet upper. Yeah, I, I actually drop my punishments f from doing from this. Like minus fourteen punish sometimes I couldn't get it because you know I didn't buffer it properly and I get it back two instead. And it gets kind. Of, it kind of gets frustrating. Yeah, 
Yeah, doing this is way more easy on arcade stick. If I can hit one, there you go. Like, I, I hit this so often. You know, sometimes on the arcade stick it does it. I don't know why exactly. Sometimes it skips neutral, which is interesting. But more often than not, I, I'll get my shit upper. Oh, now it kept doing it now. That's very interesting. This is the way I'm holding my stick. Yeah, it's just way easier to do compared to keyboard. Because I can skip neutral on keyboard. I still can get one here. I got like three under a minute with the stick. Yeah, that's like another thing I found interesting playing on an arcade stick. But the most, uh, but like, for the most part, I don't think, you know, it, it, it's, uh, it's very practical, simply because of this, how, how sluggish it is to move with an arcade stick. But the, the one thing, the reason why... I think people stick to it, and this is something that I notice very much clearly now to playing with it. Is that this playing with an arcade stick is just a lot more fun, way more fun to to play with this than on keyboard. There's something about hearing the the switches click and the buttons. Something about that just tickles the right part of my brain. Right. And I think that alone makes it very more enjoyable. Very much more enjoyable. And that's like the only reason why you would ever get an arcade stick. Is to just have more fun. You know, I didn't under understand it before. Like when people say it's just a lot more fun to use a stick. But now that I have one, I totally, I totally get why now. And this is turbo button, which doesn't really do anything. Like, you know. It's a turbo button. It, it, it hits the button for you rapidly. I sometimes just misclicked it because the select is right next to it. It's kind of a issue with this stick. Specifically. But, of course, you know, transferring over to an arcade stick, there is something that I think people didn't really talk about when you're new to this. 
Wait, when you when you switch in arcades, like what you re notice, the biggest difference is just how much more uh, physical movement that you have to do to just move around, right? But look, I'm I'm using my entire hand, like uh, my wrists, fingers, arms. Like especially with a Mishima character, for example. Wait, I'm using my entire arm to do wave dashes like this. Maybe I'm doing wrong. Maybe I shouldn't be using my arm. Maybe I shouldn't be using my entire arm or whatever, right? And P2 is a lot easier because I, I just use my finger. Back dash is a bit different, though. And also, you know, I do uh, difficult inputs all the time. I think that's also part of the reason what I notice the most is the very next day after I'm done, that when I wake up from bed is that my the the back of my shoulder uh is feeling very sore so again, maybe i'm sitting wrong maybe i should be sitting like s straight maybe like i i move much more than i than i should have like maybe i should be a lot more softer on the input with my with the stick but generally because you move a lot more, you're gonna be feeling a lot more uh, fatigue or like soreness, or just straight up pain. Even I haven't, I haven't really got that yet. Just, just the shoulder soreness, most, uh, mostly like my left shoulder. I didn't feel it like any sort of uh, RSI around my hands I don't notice that maybe maybe if I'm not like careful and I pushed it maybe I'll start feeling the RSI but for now yeah so far it's just the the soreness on the shoulder and maybe that, that could even like not even be related to this maybe I'm j i just have a shit bed and i sleep weird or something even or maybe it's just a completely different thing that isn't related to this at all but yeah that is something that is worth mentioning especially when you're new right but other than that i think yeah that's like has been my one month journey so far with the arcade stick overall it's mostly positive simply because of stuff like this i can do stuff i, I wasn't able to do before a lot more which is weird because you know people kept saying like oh yeah, keyboard is this way better but somehow this one thing it is specific to the character that I play. It's just uh, so, somewhat easier on the arcade stick than it is on keyboard. Get ready for the next battle. And just to show like how far my execution have gone. I can do stuff like this. You know, like, I'm still dropping my electric. Right, as you can see here. But for the most part, like, it's very. 
I got most of the basics down. Okay, do five. If I can. Maybe I can't. No. And Brian is my main, of course. Thinking of switching over to Hay, especially because I bought him my own hard working money. But yeah, uh, you know, Hay is cool to so that's something. But yeah, that's like that's been my experience so far with an arcade stick. But overall. Better because of just how much more I enjoy the game playing with arcade stick compared to when I'm not. So yeah, I think that's about it. that's about it for this video. I don't know what else I want to share. Yeah, Arcade Sig is cool. If you like the sound it makes, then buy it. But if you want to win tournaments, then don't. Because it's not... It's not more optimized than if you use a... A... Controller or a keyboard. Keyboard style controller. Levelless. It's just way more... It's just way better to use <laughs> anything else that isn't this. I guess uh, I guess that's about it. That's about it. That's 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 the video. All right. Yeah. That's the video, guys. <laughs>